Welcome to Rosemary Radar, where I tell you all the things you should be looking forward to in the upcoming week. On Monday, March 14th, a new episode of the Always Sunny podcast will go up on their YouTube channel, and this is apparently the episode where they all just get hammered the entire time, and based on the teaser they showed for it, we won't be let down in the slightest. On Tuesday, March 15th, Grand Theft Auto V's expanded and enhanced versions will drop on the PS5 and Xbox Series consoles. So transfer your little guy over to Next Gen and be annoying and shoot me when I'm just trying to shop for shoes like you f***ing kids do anyways. Youths! Also, Young Rock and Mr. Mayor return to NBC that night if you watch either of those shows. And uh, this kind of just in, breaking news, Spider-Man No Way Home kind of leaked onto the internet um, ahead of its Blu-ray release, so I guess they just decided to drop it early. So instead of dropping the following week, it's now dropping this week on the 15th, on Tuesday. The digital version. On Wednesday, March 16th, Tunic, a game I have been very excited about, will finally launch on Xbox and PC. It's basically a little Zelda-like game, but you play as this cute little fox, and odds are it'll be way too hard and I'll never finish it, but I can't wait. On Thursday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, two new shows are premiering, one being Welcome to Flatch on Fox, which looks to try to recapture some Office and Parks and Rec magic. It's a mockumentary-style comedy that's an American remake of the British BBC series This Country. It stars the likes of Sean William Scott, Aya Cash, and more. The other being Minx on HBO Max, which is a new comedy based in the 1970s, where two people try to create the first erotic magazine for women. It's got Jake Johnson in it, and my wife and I are currently doing a New Girl rewatch, so I'm in. Hope it's good. Also on Thursday, though, is the release of one of my most anticipated games of the year, Shredders, which looks to be kind of the spiritual successor to the Amped snowboarding games. That'll launch on Xbox Game Pass and PC, so if you're looking for a more lax snowboarding sim-style game, then let's go. Let's hit those slopes, dog. On Friday, March 18th, we've got some new albums from both Charlie XCX and Rosalia, a new show called Life in Beth starring Amy Schumer that'll premiere on Hulu, a spinoff of Big Mouth called Human Resources, which centers around all the hormone monsters and such from that show. That'll be on Netflix. And also coming to Netflix is a new baking competition hosted by Mikey Day, where bakers literally bake a cake resembling something, and it has to be so lifelike that the judges can't tell the two apart. It's literally called Is It Cake? Wild times on TV, guys. Are these the best ideas or the worst ideas? Who cares? Let's watch them all. And back to video games, if you're still playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on your Nintendo Switch, then you're in luck because you're going to be getting a bunch of new tracks to race around on with the first release of the game's booster pass. And finally, on Saturday, March 19th, the second season of Fortnite Chapter 3 will come to a close, and one would assume that means that Season 3 will start up the very next day on Sunday. Give me a Star Wars season, Fortnite. Obi-Wan's coming soon, Luke and Leia would be cool, we got May the 4th coming up as well. Think about it, get back to me. Until then, follow us, drink green beer, and uh, do an Irish car bomb or whatever people do in Ireland. Bye.